If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. QuickBooks Online allows you to track mileage for your company vehicles. Users of the QuickBooks Online mobile app can even automatically track mileage for trips they make. However, this feature is currently limited to the primary admin user, but they say it will be available to other types of users in future updates. Separately though, you can manually add your vehicles and trips to QuickBooks Online to track mileage in the program for the trips you make with company vehicles. To enter your vehicles and track their time in QuickBooks Online, click the mileage link in the navigation bar to open the trips page to the right. To manually enter mileage the first time you open this page, click the or add trips manually link within the page. A graph of your mileage appears at the top of the trips page. To view and create your vehicles, click the View Vehicles link within this graph to open the Your Vehicle list. To add a vehicle, click the Add Vehicle button in the lower right corner of this list to open a vehicle information pane at the right side of the page. To enter the mileage tracking year, click into the calendar selector at the top of the pane and select the desired year from the drop-down menu. Select the Type of Vehicle from the Type section by clicking the Correct button. Type the Vehicle's Make and Model into the Vehicle Make and Model field. To select the Vehicle's Year, click into the Vehicle Year Calendar Selector field and then select it from the Calendar drop-down. Choose an option for the Ownership Status setting to indicate whether you lease or own this vehicle. Enter the Vehicle's Cost into the How Much Did This Vehicle Cost field. Select when you bought it from the date you bought the vehicle calendar selector field. Enter the date you put it into service by selecting that date from the date placed in service calendar selector field. Enter the odometer starting value into the odometer start year selected field where the year selected value is the year you chose at the top of the pane. You can enter the odometer end and total distance driven fields later at the end of the selected year. To make this vehicle your primary vehicle for trips, click the Make Primary Toggle Switch to set it to the On position. Then click the OK button in the message box that tells you new trips will be attached to this vehicle. To then save the vehicle, click the Save button in the lower right corner of this pane. Back in the Your Vehicle page, you may need to click the Reload button in the upper left corner of the vehicle list to show the new vehicle you added. At the right end of each vehicle are its management options under the Options column. To edit a vehicle in the Vehicle Information pane, click the Edit Vehicle link under the Options column, then Edit the Vehicle's information, and click the Save button again to save your changes. To deactivate a vehicle, Click its Deactivate link under the Options column. Doing this moves it to a separate Vehicle No Longer in Use list below the Vehicle list in this page. You can reactivate it here by clicking its Activate link if needed. To exit the Vehicle List page when you are finished, click the Cancel button in its lower right corner to return to the Trips page. To manually create a trip in QuickBooks Online, Click the Add Trip button in the Trips page or hover over the Add Trip button until a drop down appears and then click the Create Trip Choice. Either way, the same trip pane then appears at the right side of the window. Select the trips date from the Trip Date Calendar drop down in the trip pane. Enter the trips distance into the distance field. Optionally, to enter a starting address, Type it into the Starting Point field and then select it from the drop-down menu that appears. To then enter an Ending address, type it into the Ending Point field and then select it from the drop-down menu. Select whether the trip was for business or personal use by clicking the correct button under the Mark Trip As setting. To enter a trip description for business trips, type it into the Description field. Then select the vehicle you used from the Vehicle drop-down. To create a round trip, check the Create Round Trip checkbox at the bottom of the pane. To save the trip, click the Submit button in the lower right corner of the trip pane. 
Alternatively, to cancel the trip entry, click the Cancel button. Trips you enter appear in the Trips page. Below the graph at the top of the page, there are tabs for Unreviewed, All, Business, and Personal that you can click to see the associated types of trips. To perform an action on a trip you entered, hover over the More button in the Options column at the right end of its row. Then click to select the desired action from the drop-down menu that appears. Choices include Round Trip, Duplicate, and Edit Trip. To perform batch actions on trips, check the Check box to the left of the trip or trips to select. Then click the Desired button that appears above the list of trips. These buttons are Delete, Mark as Business, and Mark as Personal. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.